How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Uh, today we're going to be looking a little more into the um, the user interface. <clears throat> um, we're going to be working with the program that um, I wrote last time with the couple of simple buttons here. But I wanted to show you basically um, anchoring a couple of, of just different unique things you can do with um, the layout here. So in our form, again, if we when we ran this last time, um, we didn't have our, our buttons anchored. So when we do, uh, re resize the window, they wouldn't move. Like the, they wouldn't move, and the window would just get bigger and bigger. So what I did was you make sure the right button is clicked, which is our click button. And I scrolled down here, and the anchor. You go down here. It's it's anchored to the top. Basically, you click. You highlight these little gray things here, and that shows you where you want tells you where you want it to be anchored so we'll anchor it to the top and then when we run it and we go to resize it see our button will continue to be centered there while the exit button is not so if we wanted again to anchor the exit button we can just anchor that to the bottom go ahead run it again and this time they will both be set where they where they're supposed to be which is a, a pretty cool thing. There's a, a lot of different things you can do um, within a Windows uh, form application. So again, the anchor will cause the control to remain at, at a fixed distance from the side of the container, even when the container, which is our, our whole menu here, when it's resized. The dock control, which is right here, um, this will allow you to control or allows the control to span one side of its container or to fill the remaining space in the container. So what you want to see here, if we want to actually let's use the click button. If we dock that on the top, then you can see the whole button will span the top. So again we run it, resize it, and the anchoring really doesn't matter because it will automatically go for the go through the whole top. Okay? Um, but we don't actually want to anchor it to the top. Whoops. Just go ahead and click none. Um, that's just another cool thing. The padding, if I find that right here, this is all in the layout too by the way. Um, padding uh, basically will set the space between a container's edges and docked controls. Uh, the default value is zero of course and this will cause the control to appear flush with the container sides. As you can see um, wherever we move this to, if we wanted to pad it, you know, to a really specific amount to the click button, um, then we can just, or or on the edge, maybe we can just um, add to the padding here, because um, the the numbers are uh, count for a uh, top, bottom, left, and right edges. <clears throat> the location here, right here, will specify the location of the upper left corner and the control in relation to its container. Okay, and of course, when you do move the click button, you'll notice that the location number does change here. So it's just I, I prefer to use um, the you know the manual the the guidelines right there. It just makes it makes it a little bit a little a little cooler there. <clears throat> and the size, of course, specifies the size right here, the size of the control in the pixels as a size object. Um, it has properties width and height, and then we have a minimum size and maximum size right here. Um, this basically indicates the minimum and maximum size of a control, respectively. Um, again, the default values are zero. <clears throat> um, the anchor and dock properties of a control are set with respect to the control's parent container, which could be a form or another parent container, such as maybe a panel which I'll be covering um, in a later video. The minimum and maximum form or the other control sizes can be set with properties minimum size and maximum size again. And both are of type size which has width and height properties. <clears throat> um, I kind of wanted to keep this video short. We're going to be going over a lot of the commonly used controls like labels, text boxes, buttons, um, all the cool things you can do, how to implement those, and write a really cool uh, Windows program with it. Um, 
So we're going to run this again, and you'll see both of our. Well, we didn't dock the, the click button. We've got to dock it to the top. Or not dock anchor, sorry. Oops. To the top. Okay, there we go. And now both of our buttons should behave as we want them to, just like that. So anything else we were to add, um, you know, the, it would still say, stay in the same relation to um, the other buttons, which is a really cool feature. Um, so that's all I'm going to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.